Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The serpent was the most subtle of all the wild beasts that Yahweh God had made. It asked the woman, Did God really say to you, You were not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees in the garden, but the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You must not eat it or touch it under pain of death. Then the serpent said to the woman, No, you will not die. God knows, in fact, that on the day you eat, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good to eat and pleasing to the eye, and that it was desirable for the knowledge that it could give. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She gave some also to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loincloths. The man and his wife heard the sound of Yahweh God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from Yahweh God among the trees of the garden. But Yahweh God called to the man, Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating of the tree that I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then Yahweh God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me, and I ate. Then Yahweh God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman. Your offspring and her offspring, it will crush your head, and you shall strike its heel. <coughs> I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I am sorry with all my heart for having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In your great tenderness, wipe away my faults. Wash me clean of my guilt. Purify me from my sin. For I am aware of my faults. I have my sin constantly in mind having sinned against none other than you, having done what you regard as wrong. Yet, since you love sincerity of heart, teach me the secrets of wisdom. Purify me with hyssop until I am clean. Wash me until I am whiter than snow. Lord God, Cut down and root out whatever the adversary plants in me. With my sins cleared away, may you sow good sense in my mind and goodness in my heart, so that I can seek you and serve you completely in word and in indeed, and understand how to carry out Christ's will. Grant thoughtfulness. Grant love, grant purity, 
Grant faith. Give me all that you know will help my soul. Lord, work good in me and provide me with what I need to know. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. 